Hello everyone, this is Christina from Our Wood Home. As you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be taking you along, uh, showing you some of our favorite Christmas ornaments and explaining the story behind them. Now we do a very simple Christmas tree every year. I'll link a blog post in the description of this video um, where I talk about why we choose the type of tree that we choose. So I hope that you will take a look at that and enjoy watching this video. This first ornament set is um, made by my best friend. She gave it to me for Christmas a few years ago and I think it's just so cute. I love homemade ornaments. I have some vintage thread spools on my tree um, because I saw Miss Katie at Heritage Ways had some on a tree um, in her laundry room and I thought that was just the cutest thing and a good use for these because um, I just didn't know what to do with them otherwise. Next we have this uh, 3D glittery star ornament. We actually got a few of them um, on our honeymoon. They were really expensive, but um, they were actually discounted a lot because they were bent and twisted. And my husband said, oh, I could easily fix that. So we got them and uh, they look perfect. And I had actually seen these years prior, um, but again, they were too expensive. So we didn't, I couldn't rational, rationalize the purchase price, but at 75% off, I definitely could. Next is this cute, um, our first Christmas, ornament. This was given to us by um, one of David's grandmothers and I think it was from her actually, but it's super cute. Um, Let me know what kind of lights um, you put on your Christmas tree. We do the rainbow lights, but in the past we have done um, the white lights as well as a strand of uh, green lights. But let me know which you prefer in the comments below. a relatively new ornament. I just made it um, this month actually. It's a little miniature knit toque or hat as my American friends would probably say. Um, I actually made this from a scrap yarn that uh, was left over from the first pair of socks that I knit for David. He had been asking that I knit him socks for years and I didn't know how and it seemed really intimidating so I put it off and then one year I planned ahead in September and asked uh, my mother-in-law to teach me how to knit socks so I could surprise him with a pair for that Christmas. And I've been knitting socks ever since then. It's really fun and I thought this was a cute um, little ornament to have just as a reminder of, of that pair of socks. I also have a little yarn ball that I made. It's supposed to look like um, a ball of yarn with some needles in it. Hopefully that focuses. There we go. As I said, I'm a knitter and I thought this was just a cute um, personal ornament for our Christmas tree. This is another ornament that we got on our honeymoon. Um, it is a leaf. It's apparently a real maple leaf that's dipped in some type of material to make it um, kind of like, it feels kind of like a metal sculpture of some kind. Um, but it's so pretty. I don't know if it is a real maple leaf or if they're just pulling our leg trying to uh, sell something to tourists, but we really liked it regardless. It's so pretty. It's so delicate and light and um, when we went on our honeymoon, we just stayed in a kind of touristy town called Niagara-on-the-Lake in Ontario, Canada. 
and uh, we've been there before, we got engaged there, and we just really liked the town, it was really pretty. One of the places we went while in Niagara on the Lake is a Christmas store. It's open year round and they just sell Christmas related things. And we decided to go in and get some ornaments for our, our first Christmas together. And this is one of them. We got married um, October 28, 2012 and spent the first two weeks of November on our honeymoon. So Christmas was pretty close and it was fun to pick out some things for our first tree together. Now my cat Vinny loves to drink the Christmas tree water and I don't know why and it's not really a big deal but I just don't want her doing that. So in the past I tried to just wrap um, like blankets around the base of the tree and the tree stand to keep her out but she would just dig through it and dip her little feet in there and make a big mess. So I came up with a solution several years ago that uh, works pretty well. So I'll try to explain it the best I can, but it's kind of dark where I was filming, so it's a little bit hard to see. But basically, um, since I'm a knitter, I just knit a long rectangle from some scrap wool, and I used large needles to create kind of big holes in the piece because I wanted to be able to loop it um, through those hooks that screw into the, the tree um, to keep it in place. So I wrapped the rectangle around the base of the tree and covered the opening of the tree stand where the tree sits in and I looped um, the rectangle around these hooks. My goal was to just create a really good barrier so I wrapped it several times and kind of even went up the trunk a bit so it's impossible for my cat to stick her feet in there. I further protected the tree stand from cat feet by um, wrapping it in an old tablecloth. This one is really cute but um, our dog actually chewed a hole in it when she was a puppy so I couldn't use it as a tablecloth anymore and didn't want to get rid of the fabric, so I figured a tree skirt is perfect because um, I can strategically wrap it so that the hole isn't visible. So when I want to water my Christmas tree, I just unhook um, the long rectangle from those support screws on the outside and I can easily water it and then wrap it back up so the cat can't get into it. I hope that makes sense. Um, as I said, it's kind of hard to explain what I'm doing because it's so dark in there. But if you have any questions about this or want to see better photos, just let me know in the comments. This is a full view of our tree. It's kind of spindly. Kind of sad looking, but we really like it. We like the look of the, the more rustic and wild trees, which is why we choose an eastern white cedar. And again, I will link the blog post where I talk about um, the reasons we choose a cedar in greater detail. But I hope that you um, enjoy kind of taking a peek at our tree from a wider angle. We do very simple ornaments, um, just the, the round colored ornaments which we got um, for our first Christmas and then we also have some plastic snowflakes, large pine cones and just a few more um, personal or special ornaments.
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to let me know in the comments or like this video. And if you feel so inclined, I hope you will consider subscribing. Thank you again for watching and I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holiday Season.